Hey guys, K2003 here, and welcome to Call of Dreams 7. The second one we're going to be doing within two days. Third, yep. And the third one in three in the space of a week after TLC on Sunday. Exactly. Well, then again, that's technically Abusement City versus. Yeah, mm, yeah but there's the Call of Dreams titles on the line as well. Every title's on the line. I'm one of them. Cha I'm a defending champion. Every title, every yeah, but I, I just want to win, man. I don't even care if, if I win from the one tonight and then lose on Sunday. I don't care. At least I've still had the title for a day. <laughs> yeah. Days, you see, the thing is, what we do is, unlike what I have to do with Harry, me and him um don't get to. Me and him don't really do stuff like final battle and that. I just thought final battle would be quite fun. Because it looked like really good. Mm. Personally, neither of us actually watched Ring of Honor. No. But, fuck it. They're meant to be bringing it to the WWE Network, though, so. Yeah, if you want to pay an extra $7.99 a month. Happily. Instead of nine ninety nine, Kyle, to include Ring of Honor and Evolve and stuff like that, you're going to be paying like twenty like twenty dollars which is like 15 pounds Happily. A month. I'm alright, I don't pay for, I don't pay my WWE network subscription, my mate pays it for me, so you know. But yeah, no, see the thing is my dad pays it for me. My dad pays for it, right, and it's not like we have like so many different accounts. Like different things. He only has to pay one and I use his account. So Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what I do with mate. Yeah. Kyle, Kyle, how do you think how do you think me and Justin watch it? My mate told me the password and I'll and I'll tell Justin the email password. Fair enough. Anyway, right, so the first match is the pre-show match, right, just to let you know, we're probably not going to be able to watch this watch this pay-per-view, but I do know that um, the pre-show match is on, um, yeah, it's been filmed for YouTube, yeah, at 8.40pm Eastern Time, yeah, which is like 1 in the morning, uh, yeah, fuck, anyway, um, it's going to be, some right, put PMT or PMT or EST. It just says Eastern. Eastern. Oh yeah, that's like one. That's one then. So say if it's PMT, then that's two in the morning. Yeah. So it's the Tempura Boys, Show and Yo versus Cheeseburger and Will Ferrara, which is it's in Lucha Rules, which I don't understand actually. Lucha Rules is basically flippy shit. Flippy shit. L Lucha Rules. You know Lucha Underground. Yeah, yeah, I do. Anyone that, anyone that watches this video, watch the Ring of Honor, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I believe Lucha Rules is flippy shit. Lucha Rules is Lucha on the ground. Not do as many fucking flips as you want. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, one we, that's something we should try and do as well, Lucha Underground. But... Oh, God. Oh, it was bad enough keeping up with WWE and TNA. <laughs> and WCPW, that and all these other fucking promotions. Oh, it's fun, though. Although, although I've got enough time to do it all at the moment. I mean, you know the reasons why, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll have enough time in two weeks, so... No school. Oh, Dwayne Johnson, will you please fuck off? But anyway, my... Sorry, I'm doing my WrestleMania match. Oh, my... Crit. For this match, right, I know you went Cheeseburger and Will Ferrara. Just because, like, I don't know, I'm going to go with the Tempora boys. Just Literally, as a, just the as a only guess. reason I went with Cheeseburger and Ferrara was because of the name. Cheeseburger. <laughs> you got a Cheeseburger and a Ferrari. <laughs> uh, team. I mean, come on. Okay. Okay, the... Um, it's the pre-show, does anyone actually care? Exactly. Um, main show, Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley and Chris Sabin versus... And Donovan Jack. Jack, whatever. Versus... Donovan the Jack. Uh, versus the Rebellion, Caprice Coleman, Rhett Titus, and Kenny King. I know it says Titus, I'm taking the piss. You only said that because you knew I was about to correct you then, didn't you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but um, for this one, I'm going... I'm just going to say what you said. Um, I'm going to go with a Motor City Machine Guns. And Donovan Dijak. Don't forget Donovan Dijak. And Donovan Dijak. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with them just simply because this is a guess, and um, you were very, you were hyping them up, up very much. Oh, if anyone, anyone watching this video 
has watched TNA or uh, wants to go back and watch old TNA, just watch the Motor City, Motor City Machine Guns when they were tag champs. Honestly. I advise you do it, Kyle. If you're going to start, like, if you ever decide you're going to start going back and watching TNA, watch some of the Motor City Machine Guns matches. Watch early AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe. I've watched and every watch single AJ Styles match in TNA. Anywhere you can watch it. Yeah, yeah, anyway, yeah. anyway, so your guess is Motor City Machine Gun. Um, the next match is a good match: Colt Cabana versus Dalton Castle and Dalton Castle with the boys, whoever the boys are. His, his version of Street Club. I'm gonna assume. Um. Um, my guess, my guess is, um, Colt Cabana, just simply because I know him, because of CM Punk. Even though they... Yeah, Colt Cabana. Yeah. Um, next, um, next match, Justin, Justin Liger versus Silas Young. Justin Thunder Ligera. You know the, you know the bloke in the blue, Thunder. Yeah, I know. I knew who he was. Sincara, I want to be. <laughs> no, he's better than Sin Cara. Yeah, true. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm... I mean, Sin Cara is the third reincarnation of Sin Cara we've had, so, you know. Anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to go with Justin from the Lago, simply because he was um in the Cruiserweight Classic, I believe. Um... No, that was Grand Metal Oh, no, but... I, he might have been. Yeah, he... might have been in the early rounds that weren't on the network. Anyway. Yeah, but um, he also appeared um, at NXT Brooklyn 1. Yes. He was, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, was at, he was at Brooklyn 1. Yeah, so that's he how I know who he is. He was at Brooklyn 2, I was going to say, you wanted to. No. I watched Brooklyn 2. It was so better than SummerSlam. Wait, so what match is this? This is the... Him versus Sidney uh, Young, eh? Yeah. Oh, I went silly ass young. <laughs> silly ass. Just, yeah, just because just his first name is silly ass. <laughs> um, Cody Rhodes versus Jay Lethal. You see, this was, this was a tough one for me. Mm, I'm thinking. I've been thinking. Think, mm, I was, I, I was going to lie and say I've been thinking about it. I haven't. I've just thought of it in the last like, half an hour. But, I mean, Cody Rhodes or Jay Lethal. Uh. Um, just because he's going into this match as the GW, GFW Next Gen Champion and the WCPW Internet Champion, which, Kyle, I found out, Cody, Zack Sabre Jr., Liverpool in January. Sick. Um, it's, the first, it's the first Liverpool show. It's the... Uh, I don't know whether it's a loaded episode or whether it's a pay per view. Probably a pay per view. I don't know. I think it might be. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was watching an interview with Cody and Kenny McIntosh whilst they were put, that they've done whilst they put the cage up. Uh, after he won the title. Wow, this match is interesting. Um, and he said that yeah, Zack Sabre Jr. He's offered the challenge to Sabre Jr. for Liverpool. Sick. Um, you see, I wouldn't know. I actually wonder if he takes both titles. I will see the internet what, championship. Yeah. Probably. Well, I mean, he, he brought the club before his wrestling title to, to, to WCPW, so. Yeah. Uh, you think. I mean, it's not a main. I mean, I don't know, actually, though, because obviously Ring of Honor is a big, it's kind of big promotion. Yeah, exactly. I don't it's think like, you'd go like, into TNA and does. see Drew Galloway. Yeah, so I was watching a match earlier, which was Matt Hardy versus Ryback for the uh, WrestleCade Championship. And Matt's the WrestleCade World Champion, but he doesn't t- take it to TNA because of t- because it's TNA. So yeah, yeah. but yeah. however, because I think because, if, um... indie, because they're indies titles and not big, not proper proper titles. I don't know. Yeah. Unless Cody Rose goes, fuck it, I'll do what I like. Yeah. I'm, I'm the grandson of a plumber, I don't give a shit what I do, 
<laughs> exactly. Um, I'm going to disagree with you. I'm not going with Cody Rhodes. I very much like Jay Lethal, and yeah. Future booking WCPW maybe? Jay Lethal when he comes back? Yeah. What culture? Sign me up. Kyle for creative. WWE creative. Jay, Jay, but... Jay for WCPW general manager. I'm going to take Pachiti's job. Oh, Pachiti can fuck off, even though I'm a proud member of Pachiti Club. Actually, no, I'm not going to take his job. I'm going to start WCAW, what culture amateur wrestling? I don't know. If... I'm anyway. Sure. Um, next match is the Ring of Honor six-man tag team championship tournament finals. Um... Leo Rush, Jay White, and Kushida versus the Kingdom Matt Tavern. Vinny Masaglia and TK Orion. Um, Leo, Rush, Leo Rush, Jay White, and Kushida, just because do you know how good Kushida is in Lucha Underground? Uh, nope. But, um, I'm going Kushida with. Kushida is a G. I'm going with the Kingdom because they actually have a name and it actually seems pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. Wow. I, well, change the subject a minute. I'm in a fatal four-way match Monday Night Raw the night after WrestleMania. Me, Orton, Cena, The Rock. Fucking hell, you're fucked. Jesus Christ. But, yeah, I don't know too much about that one, so... Anyway... Do I. Anyway, into three matches which we... Well, three matches that I kind of know and two matches that you kind of know. Um, Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships... Ma the Briscoes versus the Young Bucks. There's only one team that's got to win here, and that is the, the Young Bucks. The Briscoes, not joking, Young Bucks. Just simply because Bullet Club for life. And because they're the Young Bucks. I mean, the Young Bucks. Exactly. And of course, come and, to, they have to come they to WWE. And they WWE February, uh, in, uh, yeah, in January. Yeah. You didn't hear that from me, you heard that from. No, that, no. Okay, no, I'm going to leave that for how WWE should book. Um, anyway, so we're both going Young Bucks. Next match, the Ring of Honor World Television Championship Four Corner Survival Match. Which In a word, it's the, um, it's, it's, you, know the you, know, you know the strap match, the WWE, where you, you know the cowbell strap match in JBL used to do, where you, no. both men are tied to a, both men, basically both men have got, you're tied to a, JBL's one was you were tied to like you had a rope on what like on your right arm and your opponent had a rope on the right arm. There was a cowbell in the middle, and you had to touch each four top turn buckles. Yeah. And so if you say touch, like you have to do it in a row, so you couldn't just touch one, go five minutes, and touch another one. You have to touch them simultaneously. So if you touch the third one, but then your opponent stopped you from getting the fourth one, it's reset and you have to do it all again. Um. Basically, it's basically what that is. Okay. Basically four corners, mate. You just gotta to touch all four corners without your opponent stopping you, basically. Okay, um for that um it's Dragon Lee versus Bobby Fish <laughs> Fish versus Will Ospreay versus Marty Skull. Um Honestly, as much as I like Will Ospreay, I think Marty Skull will retain. I just mm. You see, that's the difference. You're going Marty Skull. I'm going Osprey purely because I know it, this doesn't come down to it. But if you look at future WCPW events and upcoming, upcoming what culture wrestling events, Marty Skull is advertised, whereas Will, whereas Osprey's not. Marty Skull is booked to compete. Osprey's not booked now until some point next year. So I reckon Osprey will win the Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor title because Ring of Honor know that they've got him for a good solid couple of months. I still think Skull will retain. Just because he's only just won it. Oh, was he? Yeah, because Osprey won it in Liverpool, but then the next the next night, um, Skull won it. So is this Osprey's rematch? Yeah. Yeah, Osprey's winning. Oh, I'm just going Osprey. Fuck it. I probably lost tonight, but I will. Oh, well. No, we don't yeah. know half of the shit anyway, so. It's not. Yeah. It, we're going into this blind. 
Final match, Ring of Honor World Championship, Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole. Kyle O'Reilly, just because, I don't know, I just like seeing new champions crowned at pay-per-views. Hey, Fair enough. Yeah, I'm going with Adam Cole, because Adam Cole's a G. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know either of them, so, you know, I'm just guessing. I know, I'm kind of guessing Adam Cole, because he's just a good guy, and he's like, kind of like, he's 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 like, but now, then Adam Cole started doing the three when he super kicked um, Riley. Oh, today, I don't know. I went and I watched a promo, but I've watched a promo about 500 times. It's ama- it's still amazing. Speaking of promos, have you watched Drew Galloway's one from for the late WCPW yet? No, I still haven't. Watch it. Best promo you'll hear this year. Anyway. But yeah, I'm going with Adam Cole. Um. Yeah, Obviously, we've got Ring of Honor predictions that we've done, that are done as of like this video now. Yeah. Do we do? I noticed it in this video. Do we? I know you want to do your have WWE shipbook. Yeah. Do we want to do TLC predictions tonight as well? Uh, I need to get them from everyone else, and like normally I do that on Sunday. All right, sir. Yeah. So it'll be easier then. Do you know of any um, like TNA events are up? No, the only one that I know of that's coming up anytime soon is Total Nonstop Deletion on the fifteenth, which is a TNA broadcast, which is which Brooklyn Matt Hardy has choreographed and done. Which the only match is a fifty. Which is, yeah, I'll talk to you about this. You know, they had that tag team invitation where Matt challenged the New Day. Yeah. To turn up. It's like some big fucking massive tag team tournament for the TNA tag titles. Okay. But it's not an actual pay for you, it's just a normal episode of Impact. Oh, uh, okay. They're called it Total Nonstop Action, not Total Nonstop Deletion. Okay. Alright then, so that's the end of the, um, this video. Um, so we'll, I'll probably make a video tomorrow or I'll put something up on Instagram as usual and um, I'll see you guys Sunday in a bit.